She's going crazy. She is straight out of her mind. She's bad behaving. She twerks harder than a motherfucker. She is straight out of her mind. She's bad behaving. She's going crazy. Why you call it? What do you need from Costco? We need some trash bag. We need to go though. Cause I'm not gonna wanna go out the house tomorrow. If we go out the house tomorrow, we gotta go early, real early. And no more eating in the car. You had so many crumbs in my backseat. You know that? That's crazy that you had so many crumbs, y'all. He had crumbs <clears throat> just in my backseat. Like it was crazy. Stop. Yes, I'm vlogging. He don't want me to tell y'all. You're so real. I'm not rude, it's just you're that tell, you don't want before you're like, don't tell him my business. Don't tell him my business. Don't tell who my business. What what when did I ever say when? When did I ever say don't tell nobody my business? Uh, in regards to the vlog. Like <clears throat> all the time. In regards to what? In regards to like your YouTube channel. What do you mean? Why would I tell them don't why would I tell you to so, like not and tell them my business I and it has to do with YouTube. And remember that time get the um I said where you can get the see the products. Yeah, but you can't mention certain stuff on YouTube or they'll shut the video down, so we can't even talk about that yet on the on the YouTube channel. YouTube. We gotta wait until like you know what I'm saying? Are oh, you talking about like the tea and stuff? Yes. Oh, so y'all, um, I came to take care of some business and pay like my, oh, I wonder if Nana got bottles of water. We could just got water here. Hurry up and eat your orange so you could go throw it in the trash. You could throw the rest in the trash because we not leaving until you do that. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So we are back. We are back. We are back on YouTube. So happy to be back. Um, it's been... Wait, they shutting you down? No, baby. I just haven't recorded a YouTube in a long time. Mm. Let me see. Hold on. <clears throat> Ooh, this is super close. close. Okay, y'all. So we're back. Um, finally. Ooh, it's something on my lens. Hold on. All right. What's a lens? So, anyways, let me make a phone call real quick, cause. I'm gonna tell this man. <clears throat> What's a lens? So as y'all see, my son is eating in the car and I just told him like he cannot eat in my car anymore because I just took the car to the car wash. And when I got outside of the car, there were like so many crumbs um, just in the seat. Like, Jesus Christ. So I'm over here. And oh my God, there is like freaking the garbage people are throwing the trash away. I just got my car washed, so of course, I'm like, what is this stuff flying over the car? Stuff from the garbage truck <clears throat> going into the garbage can. But I think that like my neighbor had like leaves and stuff and grass in there. So um, we were getting ready to go to Costco but I don't think that we're going to go to Costco. I think that we're going to go ahead and go home and then do Costco tomorrow. So that means he got to eat something at home. <clears throat> Which is cool with me. Um, if you don't want to go, you don't have to. Whatever God chooses, <clears throat> that's the way you choose. Well, God gave us the um, power to choose. So, what we gonna do? You first hurry up and go go throw that away. Hurry up and eat it then. Man, look. <sighs> Always eating in the car. Always doing something disrespectful, y'all. So. You mm. never even told me I can't even like, eat in the car no more. Well, I'm telling you now. You cannot eat in the car. 
I did tell you you can't eat in the car. I told you that. But you didn't say uh, anymore. Anymore. Like, at all. You cannot eat in the car anymore. Okay? I respect that. Thank you. I would appreciate it if you would wholeheartedly respect it. Because the way those crumbs were set up in the back seat was a no-go. Y'all, we're going home. I'm about to go home and just get super comfortable. And, um, that's just it. I knocked Don't on touch the, the windows. Don't touch. I didn't touch the windows. First thing, I didn't touch the windows. He's going to crazy, y'all. He touched the windows, y'all. No, I didn't. I knocked right on the door. Where's your iPad? You had it. Did you leave it inside? No. Did we bring it out? Okay, you better hope that we didn't bring it. Hey, don't play with that. Get it, get get back there and buckle up, please. Before you break something. No, for real, Travis, because like right now you you doing so much. Go, hurry okay. up, because I want to drive. If I sit down, can I have the camera? Yes. But it only has five more minutes of human on there. Of what? Only five more minutes. So hurry up. Five more minutes of what? Of of space to film. Hi, my mom gave me the camera. So we're going to go home. And the sun is shining on my face. I don't like the sun shining in my face. Oh, there we go. All right, can I? Can my you turn it off so I can listen to the music? My quarantine hair is horrible. I don't uh -huh. like quarantine hair. I'm gonna get another haircut soon, but that's all. So, bye. Y'all, we decided to come on an adventure, so we're here at the beach, right, Travis? Came over to the water really quick. Just to take a walk, you know, change of scenery. The lighting is, look at that, look at the seagull. Just kind of floating in the air. Come on. So, I just wanted to take a little walk. And so we're gonna go back up in a moment, but. If you know me, you know I love the water. So I always gravitate towards the water. If I go on a trip or anything, nine times out of 10, it has amazing views, our beautiful water. So we are here, just kind of chilling. There's a bunch of squirrels out here. <laughs> They're everywhere. Squirrel City, huh? They're everywhere. Look, watch. Look, look straight ahead. You see on the ground? Okay, you see the stairs? You gotta hold on to the rail, okay? I'm gonna go in front of you. So just hold on. Oh, yeah. You're the one for me. I know that you're somebody else's guy, but these feelings gotta happen.
Are you gonna get it? You gotta go down and get it. Are you gonna go get it? You can get it if you want to. Go ahead. You gonna get it? Watch the water. Go ahead. Okay. It's a bunch of rock. What is it, rock? Okay, come on. Ready? Now we gotta go that way to go. Uh oh. Give me a hand. We gotta go. <laughs> Go up. Go up. <laughs> Good job. Now we're gonna go that way. You ready? <laughs> Wait. You, huh? No, 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 no. Yeah. We gotta go down and up. Yep. You go. You got it? Step on that dry rock. Dry rock. Hey! <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Woo. Man. Look at these little pockets of water. <laughs> okay. Got it? All right, let me come up. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'll put my pants up. Don't fall backwards. That's okay. Come on, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> y'all so we had us a little adventure real quick and um i don't know like 
Let me talk to the camera, please. Like for me, this is like kind of peaceful or whatever. Um, getting out, um, you know, getting some air, coming to the water. It just makes me like really think about just stuff. And um, it just makes me think about like stuff. Like I have a lot of things going on and um, I don't know, like if I think about it, I think about the last 10 years of my life. Cause I like to think of things in terms of like years, like 10 years, five years, 10 years at a time. Never a year, cause a year goes by so fast. And if we're thinking about, oh, I'm out of breath, like 2020 within itself. <sighs> this year is about to go by fast. And what do you think? I think about like 2019 and 2020. You think about 2019 and 2020? Yeah, like how So why do you think about 2019? Why, why is 2020, 2020 <laughs> having a bad time? Oh, why is 2020 having a bad time? Yeah, because it's coronavirus. Yeah. And why did 20 wind up all the way back when even I wasn't born? Like there's no well, there's been different pandemics before, but you just haven't experienced one. This is your time to be alive and to experience something. So you're experiencing a pandemic like for the first time. Just like yeah, you and Bree are experiencing it together. Cause you guys have never like experienced anything crazy so it's her first time it's your first time experiencing it but yeah 2020 is having a rough time but the thing about it is we can make the best of it uh -huh. hmm. For the first time. Yep. And everybody's life is a little bit different, so you'll get older and you'll have different experiences as you get older. So, you know, you never know. But the thing about it is, even though, uh oh, hold the camera. Even though we feel like you got to make sure you're pointing it correctly. So, even though we feel like we're having a rough time, right? It may not be considered a rough time. This may be a time for us to here. Camera. This may be a time for us to regroup and figure out new things and figure out how to live a little bit differently. To make the world a better place. Yep, to make the world a better place. So y'all, I didn't get to do my spiel, but like I was saying, I just kind of feel like, um, you know, coming out and getting air and just having a moment to just get real oxygen. It's just good for you. You know, I think again, like I said, I was thinking about like the last 10 years. And if we think of things in terms of a year, some people are going to be really disappointed because it just really feels like 2020 is a wash, but I think that this is a time where we can take this as an opportunity to to um, just really create, especially for people that are um, artists, creators, all of that, right? This is a perfect time. This is a perfect time for us. This is a perfect time for us to really get into our crafts and build. So, um, I don't have any complaints, but it does make me think about, I guess, some of the things that when you're moving around constantly, you, like, can tolerate certain things. But when you really have an opportunity to, like, sit down and be in your thoughts and stuff like that, you start to think about the things that you really don't, like, want to tolerate and the things that you don't desire to experience or go through within your life. 
But y'all, I'm going to end this vlog. Thank y'all for listening to this vlog. Thank you guys for coming on our adventure with us. I really do appreciate you guys. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to our, well, to my channel. And Travis has a channel too. I'll put the links and everything in the description box because we haven't put his first video up yet. But I think that I'm going to go home and work on that for him. So, um, peace be with all of you. Um, and I just hope that everything for you and your life is okay. I hope that um, if you're not at peace, that during this time you're able to do whatever it is that you need to do to find a level of peace within yourself. Um, I know that this has definitely been an opportunity for me to do that. And I've had ups and downs, highs and lows. You know, like when I go off of um, YouTube or whatever, you know, it, it's probably me going through a low. It's probably me, probably me not being in a place where I want to be in my life. And we got to figure out how to get out of those slumps. But me spending time with my baby and being able to talk to him, um, and I guess just being able to spend more time with my loved ones during quarantine, and I'm like kind of getting emotional. Um, because, you know, I wish that during this time, like, you guys, I've lost people. And so I wish things were perfect. And I wish we lived in a perfect world where we could have things the way that we want them. But the truth is what that we think is perfect may not necessarily be what God thinks is perfect for us. And, um, you know, we will get through it. We will get through this for everybody that's feeling like any type of depression, anxiety, like, man, we're losing people left and right. But I thank y'all for coming on to the vlog. I started to get a little emotional. But I thank y'all for um, being a part of my channel and watching my channel. And I'm so glad to be back on YouTube. And um, I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, like, comment below what other type of videos you guys would like for me and my baby to do. And we'll bring those videos to y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. And shout out to all my mama's fans. <laughs> Bye, y'all. And... Make sure you're safe. <laughs>